What's going on guys? This is Chandler Smith and I am so excited about this video because it should have been the first video that I ever did. Because the biggest question that I always get asked by new real estate investors is Chandler, where do I start? How do I go from knowing nothing to getting to that point where I'm buying my first property? So this video is going to be the new real estate investor starter kit. So in 10 minutes, I'm going to give you everything you need to know to go from knowing nothing to getting to the point where you are ready to pull the trigger on that first property. So with that being said, let's jump into it. Now, if this is your first time to the channel, my name is Chandler Smith and I've been investing in real estate for the last six plus years. I currently own 71 doors of rental real estate and I'm just about to close on a 32 plex, which will push me over 100 doors of rental real estate. And I originally started this video because a lot of people were asking me, Chandler, how did you get into real estate? How do you do it? And they were consistently asking me these questions and I decided, you know what? I'm just gonna make a YouTube channel so I can show all my friends and family exactly how to do it so they can build a huge passive income for themselves. And once I started, I kinda got hooked. It was really fun making videos. And so in this video, my big goal is to help you wherever you are in the process, get a lot more comfortable with investing in real estate so you can go from knowing absolutely nothing and hopefully by the end of this video, you know everything that you need to know to be able to pull a trigger on that first property. This first step is going to give you a little bit of homework, but I wanted to get you the right reading material. I think there are a couple books that impacted me in a huge way, and there are lots of books out there about real estate investing, but I truly believe if you read these three, it's gonna give you everything you need to know to get into that first property, and you could probably crank all three of them out in a day. So the first one, is Rich Dad Poor Dad, and this is written by Robert Kiyosaki. This one's really gonna teach you a lot of basic principles about investing in real estate, dealing with money, and it's going to be huge for getting your mind right for getting into investing in real estate. The next one is Rental Property Investing by Brandon Turner. Now, Brandon is the man. If you read any of his books, you're gonna be set, but I think this one is perfect for before getting into investing in real estate to give you all of the information you need to know down to the details of finding and buying a property. The last one was probably my favorite before I started buying properties, and that is the ABCs of real estate investing. Honestly, this was probably my favorite book that I read before I had purchased a property because it just broke everything down so simply and really gave me that extra confidence and push to be able to pull the trigger on that first property. So those are my three that I think you've got to read and I'll make sure that I put the links in the description for all three of those books. Now this second step might seem silly because a lot of times we talk negatively about social media, but the next step is you need to go onto Instagram and Facebook and YouTube and you need to follow everyone that you can that has been successful investing in real estate. A couple of big suggestions I would make is Meet Kevin, Graham Stephan, Bigger Pockets is a huge one. I think you should follow me on Instagram and on YouTube. And I know you might think I'm making a pitch for myself, but the reality is the more people that you are following and connecting with and seeing their feed of the properties they're buying, how they're working out deals, how they're getting financing, this is going to play a huge role in getting your mind right and helping you daily acquire information that you need. All of us have this time during our day where our mind goes to mush and we pull out our phone and we hop on to social media. And if you can get to a place where even when your mind is mush, you're taking in good information about investing in real estate, you're gonna get to a place where you're extremely comfortable pulling the trigger on a piece of real estate a lot more quickly because your mind is in the right place and you've acquired the proper information to get to that point. This is a perfect time for you to smash that like button below and make sure that you subscribe to the channel because my only goal with this channel is helping you to get into investing in real estate and creating a huge passive income for yourself. So just remember to subscribe. All right, step number three is probably one of the biggest steps, if not the biggest, and that is that you've got to learn your market. And a lot of people are like, well Chandler, how do I do that? Who do I connect with? There are some quick connections you can make that are free connections 
that are going to give you all the information that you need. So the first connection you need to make is with a realtor. Now, I would suggest finding a realtor that is already invested in real estate or finding a realtor that knows nothing, that is super hungry and willing to show you every property you would ever want to see because they don't have anything else better to do. But whatever you do, find a realtor and recognize that they can show you as many properties as you want to see and they're going to be doing it for free. Just make sure when you do finally buy that first property that you use that realtor because they went through that learning experience with you and they invested a ton of time. But what's so cool about realtors is they're gonna go show you properties and it doesn't cost anything. And make sure when you're in these properties, you ask what they're renting for, you check them out, you see what's good, you see what's bad. Another way to do this for free is to hop on to the listings of everything for rent and just start calling management companies, calling owners and say, hey, I wanna come look at this property, I'm thinking about renting it. Now, you might not actually be thinking about renting it and if you don't wanna do this, that's up to you but I have found huge value in getting into my market and calling multiple different management companies, getting inside properties that have already rented at a certain amount so I can see what they're able to pull for what kind of property they're pulling it in when it comes to rents. And so those are two quick ways for you to get into your market and understand it better. The other thing you can do is hop on to rentameter.com and that'll give you some pretty close estimates of what things rent for. The only problem is you're not seeing the property because a two bedroom in one part of town that's really nice compared to a two bedroom apartment in a crappy part of town that's not really nice, they're gonna rent for two different prices. So get into your market, ask your realtor, call around, and you're gonna be able to understand your market so that when you find a good deal, you're actually gonna know it because you know what it can rent for. Step number four is find a mentor, but here's the deal, if you try to jump to step number four without doing the first three steps, you're gonna be in a situation where no mentor is going to want to take you on because you have no idea what you're doing. You've got to get that basic knowledge of your market and that basic understanding of how to invest in real estate so that you can at least impress the mentor a little bit to say, wow, this kid's put in his time, he knows what he's talking about. It will be an engaging conversation because he at least understands something about investing in real estate. So why not? I could help mentor you. It'll be fun to take you from nothing to getting into that first property and you already have that basic understanding, so let's do it. So please don't go and try and find a mentor when you know nothing because that's going to burn that bridge so quickly and it really just shows your laziness to where you might not ever get to interact with that person and have it be a positive interaction again because you burnt that bridge. So put in your time and understand what you can before finding a mentor. Now, I have a ton of people reach out to me on YouTube, on Facebook, and on Instagram that are saying, Chandler, please, would you be our mentor? And so I want you to know I'm flattered that you would think of me and that you want to have that interaction. The only problem is ever since I started this YouTube channel, I get bombarded almost daily with multiple people saying, Chandler, will you mentor me? Will you give me advice? Will you help me? And as much as I love helping people, it's reached the point where I can't keep up with everyone that's asking for help. However, if you do decide to come and work for me selling pest control door to door at Aptiv, then I will give you free mentorship. So everyone that's come and worked for me and done well, I've been more than willing to give free mentorship and help them with anything that they need. And so if you do want to apply to come work for us, you can go to www.elitesummersales.com. Now I know there are a lot of you out there that are saying, Chandler, I'm too old for that job or I don't want to do it or I don't want to relocate. And here's what I would tell you. If you really want me to be your mentor, I have started a mentorship program that you can go in and you can sign up for at www.chandlerdavidsmith.com. And I will work with you one-on-one -on -one and be your mentor. However, I do charge an hourly wage. And if you ask me, I probably wouldn't suggest that. Now, that doesn't mean I can't be awesome to help you. However, a lot of people don't have the money early on to spend on me when they're trying to get into their first investment property and I understand that. So go and find a local mentor, but for this step, you've gotta find someone that you can get that little bit of extra mentorship from, and if they're already in your current market, that might be a perfect fit for you. Step number five, you've got to find a loan officer that you trust, preferably one that already invests in real estate 
and you've got to get pre-approved. It's so important to get pre-approved for the loan before you find that deal so that when you do find that deal, you can put in an offer, you can send in your pre-approval letter and you know you're ready to go and that's going to give your offer a lot more power or a lot more strength when presented to the seller. Now the sixth step seems, man, sixth step, that's hard to say. <laughs> step number six seems simple, but it is so important. Maybe even the most important thing you need to take away from this, and that is that you need to know where you're going. I see so many people that they're like, hey, I wanna get into investing in real estate, and they're looking at wholesaling, or flipping, or buy and hold, or condos, or duplexes, or 24plex, or a threeplex, and they're just all over the place looking at everything, and probably learning a lot along the way, and so if you wanna do that temporarily, that's okay, but you'll never be successful until you figure out exactly where you wanna be, and how you're going to accomplish that. And so if you've got a certain amount of money, an example of this, would be saying, all right, I'm going to buy a property in this part of town. It's going to be a duplex. The numbers are going to meet this criteria. And the second that I find a deal that matches my criteria, I'm going to put in an offer. I'm not going to hesitate. Because I see so many people that they don't know where they're going or what their goals are. And so they miss a lot of really good deals because they haven't decided what they want to do. The second that you decide exactly what you want to do and where you want to be and how you want to get there, then when that deal does come up, you know it and you're going to be able to act on it quickly. And so make sure you know where you're going and what your criteria is so that when it does come time and that deal is there, that you can pull the trigger. Step number seven is you've got to start putting in offers. I see way too many people that are terrified to put in offers, but here's the deal. If you put your offer dependent on inspection and dependent on financing, then you're set. There's nothing wrong with putting in an offer because if it doesn't work out or the inspection isn't clean, or even if you get cold feet, you've got this opportunity to bail before your inspection period is over. So you've got to start putting in offers. I am so confident in knowing what I want that on this last deal on a 32plex, I hadn't even seen the property. I just knew what part of town it is, what the price was, how many bedrooms each unit had, and I put in an offer immediately because I knew what I wanted. And so you've gotta be confident enough to start putting in offers. Now for step number eight, this is a step in other videos I've really stressed earlier on in the process and that is creating your team. But as you've seen with these steps, I've really simplified it where you've already got your realtor, you've already got your loan officer, and when it comes to a management company and a bunch of other people with your electrician, your plumber, other people you want in place, you don't have to worry about that until you've got the property under contract, and then you can scramble and get your team put together. Now, if you do this step earlier on, it's not gonna be a problem, but I don't want this step to keep you from getting to the point where you start putting in offers so that you can start moving forward. Because so many people just spin their wheels forever, putting their team together and thinking about what they want to where they get to the point where they're never comfortable or confident enough to pull the trigger. And you've got to just start putting in offers so that you can make that jump. Because I promise you, even if you buy the worst deal ever and it's negative cash flow and it breaks all my rules, at the end of the day, if you can afford it, 10 years from now, it's gonna end up making you money. Now, that isn't good advice, don't do that, but what I'm trying to say is you're never really going to lose that bad if you read these books, if you follow the rules, if you understand where you want your numbers to be, because once you've done all that research, once you've put in that time, even if you buy a subpar deal, it's still gonna be good enough to where you're not gonna end up losing money on it because you followed these steps. Now, I'm really hoping that this video broke down everything so that you can go from not knowing anything to getting extremely comfortable and ready to pull the trigger on that first property. Because I spent a good two years researching, looking at different things, looking at different opportunities, and that was wasted time that I should have been investing. And I'm hoping that this video can take you from a two year span down to a couple week span to where you know a couple weeks from now you are ready to pull the trigger on that first property. So if you guys enjoyed the video, please push the like button, subscribe to the channel, and again, my goal is to help you to create a huge passive income for yourself. And so make sure you subscribe and check out my other videos. And thanks again for watching. Have a great day.